Hi, this is John, and we continue on grounding codes with the article 250.20, System Grounding. Listen up. There are four parts to this article, A through D. We are only going to cover part A. The reason is very simple. Part A is the code that requires low voltage systems to be grounded. The other three sections are for higher alternating current voltages. In Part A, you will not find a single word of what systems this code is talking about, so I will tell you this article controls cable television. The cable splitter has to be grounded as shown in the little diagram. Telephone hubs, which is the box where the company links its phone wires to the building wires as shown in the diagram. Satellite systems. The satellite dish has to be grounded all the way back to the cable hub, just like cable from the street or an overhead source. Malibu light transformers are also covered by this article, as well as all low voltage overhead wiring. So in essence, Article 250.20 Part A is aimed at data and communication wiring and some low voltage transformer applications like outdoor lighting transformers. Make a special note of what I say next. The NEC defines low voltage as 0 to 49 volts. However, the National Fire Protection Association, commonly hyphenated to NFPA, defines low voltage as 0 to 30 volts. If you come across a question concerning any low voltage systems, make sure the question is for the NEC and not the NFPA. The test may try to determine if you know the difference between the two authorities. Know the difference. Well, that just about covers what alternating current low voltage systems need to be grounded and where to ground them as shown in the diagrams. That really is the heart of Article 250.20 Part A. For alternating current systems voltage that is nominal or over 1000 volts, then Parts B, C, and D cover that area, but it is very vague just like Part A is. That is why I provided you with the diagrams so there would be no doubt about what this article is covering and where to look in the code book for data and communication system grounding. Well, that's a wrap. Comments are always welcome. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.